In today's video, I'll be showing you seven things that you can do to resolve issues with Back 4 Blood crashing, freezing, or just simply not loading in Windows 10. So the first thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon. You now need to click on settings, and you now need to click on update and security. You now need to select Windows Update, and if you have any updates pending, you need to install these updates. If you have the check for updates button available, go ahead and click on that button and then see if Windows detects any new updates. And if it does, go ahead and install those updates. Once you have finished updating Windows, the next thing you need to do is install the latest graphics card drivers for your graphics card. So I have an NVIDIA graphics card. So for me, I would have to go to the NVIDIA website, like you can see on my screen at the moment, select my graphics card, search for the driver and then download and install the latest driver. I will pop a link in the description below to our website which will have the links to NVIDIA, AMD and Intel to download the latest graphics card drivers. Also on that page we'll have a list of all the steps that I show you in this video. So once you have updated your graphics card driver, go ahead and launch Back 4 Blood and see if it resolves the issue you are having. And as you can see on my screen at the moment, the latest game ready driver is for Back 4 Blood, like you can see there. So you definitely want to ensure you do have the latest NVIDIA graphics card driver if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Once you have done that, then the next thing you want to do is ensure you are signed in as an administrator. If you are signed in as an administrator, then that's great. If you're not, then ask the owner of the computer if they can make you an administrator because running Back for Blood as an administrator can help resolve a lot of problems. So I do recommend you sign in as an admin. Once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is just ensure your antivirus or security software is not blocking Back for Blood or causing the problems you're having. So turn off your security software temporary, launch Back for Blood, and then see if that resolved the issue. If it did, then you need to figure out how you can add Back for Blood into the allow list of your security software. But just keep in mind, you will not be protected from security threats while your security is turned off. Once you've done that, and if that wasn't what's causing the problems on Back for Blood, then the next thing you need to do is open up Command Prompt. So to do this, all you need to do is open the start menu and you now need to type in CMD. You now need to run command prompt as an administrator. You now need to type in the following code into command prompt or you can copy the code from our website. You then need to press enter and this will re-register all the .dll's back to Windows 10. Once it's finished, go ahead and launch Back for Blood and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and go to settings. You now need to click onto apps and you now need to type in back and you then need to select back for blood. You then need to click on advanced options and you now need to scroll down and you then need to click on the repair button. Once that's finished and it's got a tick, go ahead and launch the game and see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is click on reset. And don't worry, this will reset all the game's data when it comes to graphic settings and any settings you've changed in the game. However, it will not remove your character's data. So if you've leveled up and got coins and made cards and stuff like that, it won't wipe that information. So we now need to go ahead and press reset. And you can now go ahead and launch Back for Blood and that will hopefully resolve the issue that you're having as it's restoring all the game setting files back to their original default values. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you're gonna to need to do is uninstall the game and install it again. So I hope this video did help you out and you enjoyed it. If it did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.